Hey folks, welcome back. I have your latest home prices and insights for week ending August 11th for the city of Toronto. Listings are down by half of what they used to be. Do me a favor, comment below on what you think is happening or what you feel is gonna happen for the fall market. We're just two weeks out for the fall. Listings are down. You know what's happening with prices and I'm about to give you some more information here. So comment on your thoughts of what, what you feel is gonna happen for the fall market. A quick thank you to those of you that are using the calendar link in the description to, to get a hold of me. It's so convenient. So what, we, what we've done for those of you that want to talk to me about real estate, and, and, and there's many of you, it's, it's exciting. I love talking to you. Anything you have on your mind real estate wise, buying, selling, market ideas, just whatever you have on your mind, in the description below, there's a link to my calendar. Book a time that's convenient for you. This way I know ahead of time when, when we're going to chat and I'll make sure my calendar is open to be able to talk to you about whatever's on your mind. Thank you to those of that have used it so far. It's very convenient. You know, there's so much talk about the market is slower. I've said it here on these videos. You, you, you hear about it in the news, but let me tell you some real life experience why it's slow. And this is from a, a realtor, a full-time realtor who is in the field every single day. To see sales coming down if you're just looking at chart or the way that sometimes it gets broadcast is out there, sales are down, sometimes average price is coming down. It's easy to hear the market is slowing down and, and yes, but, but why is it slowing down? And, and I could tell you it's not because of buyers not being there. Because that's one way the market slows down. It just isn't enough business, not enough people buying. Well, we listed a property on Friday. This is a $2 million property. And, and we priced it at market value. It wasn't a, a loss leader price where we price it, say 200,000 lower to, to kind of get the auction effect going and then have an offer date. When your price is really, really low, like a fake price to get people there. It's easy to have a lot of people show up, but we priced it at market value. This is again a $2 million property. Well, between Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we had 50 plus showings. Buyers are there. They want to buy. The issue why the market is slower, one of the biggest issues, there just isn't enough listings. There's not enough homes on the market to buy. And, and some of the ones that are there, are just not the more desirable ones. So it's so important that you're working with a good realtor that could market your home properly. The buyers are there, you just got to attract them. And that's the reason the market's a bit slower. And I'm gonna show you now with some of the data, it's not because of the lack of buyers, it's the lack of listings. Let's get right into the market. Okay, so I have here City of Toronto detached only Sales are up slightly, very similar to what they were last week. We sold 144 detached properties last week. Sales have been coming down for, for months now. 25 are the amount of detached homes we sold at $2 million or more. And that's down also from the previous week. An average sold price is down to 1567 that's what the average detached home sold for in the city of Toronto. And, and this, you know, gives you some decent information. You can see average sold price kind of creeping down, but you know, you kind of look at a little bit. Also, the amount of property selling at $2 million or more is slightly going down week after week, and that's going to affect the average sold price for sure. And sales have been coming down, but not because the buyers aren't there. Watch, I'm gonna show you in a little while. So here I've broken down, the first slide was all Toronto. So here I've broken down between Central. Now Central is, sale, average sold price has been coming down quite a bit to where last week it's 2,157. That's almost a $250,000 difference from the previous week. The Central, has the lion's share of the luxury market of properties at $4 million, $5 million, $6 million. And just a little bit of shift there, and you're going to see either big drops or big gains. 
and now the the orange over here we have West Toronto average sold price has come down a little bit there to 1 million four hundred and seventy six and east side of Toronto so basically uh, East York and Scarborough average sold price climbed up a little bit to 1 million two hundred and thirty eight thousand so breaking it down in a different way now remember I was earlier talking about all Toronto but the experience in different parts of Toronto is, is very different when you compare one side to the other or one price point to the other. So the blue up here, that's prices over $2 million. So average sold price over $2 million actually came down a little bit by about $60,000 to three million and twenty-two thousand. The orange here is average sold price under $2 million for properties selling under $2 million and average sold price went up just slightly about $9,000 went up to one million two hundred and sixty two so there's not a ton of fluctuation and the burgundy here is the overall average sold price which came down a bit from from last week okay so getting back to all the city of Toronto detached properties and we're comparing this year's average sold price to last year's average sold price and they were very much two different worlds this year versus last year. We are down 1% versus last year's average sold price. Now look at this here. This year we sold 25 properties at $2 million or more. Last year at the same time we sold 49 so almost double. So I would expect us to be much further behind than where we were last year's average sold price. So the fact that we're only down 1%, I'm kind of looking at that thinking, wow, we sold so many more of the luxury properties last year at this time than, you know, average sold price in general is still higher. In most cases, you're going to find in most neighborhoods, average sold price is higher than last year's. But the, the luxury side here kind of, um, kind of points that out a little bit. Looking at sales, well, last year at this time we sold, sorry, I got the glare here, 266. This year we sold 144. So sales are much lower than they were last year. The amount of properties selling at, at, at list price or more is very similar. So we kind of got the same intensity in the market as far as uh, uh, buying properties at list price or, or paying extra. Same intensity, but last year we were selling way more. Here's the real story though. So let me go back. When we look, sorry, one second here. When we look at the sales, yes, it's lower than last year. But when we look at the listings, we are way off from last year's listings. We're less than, more, double. We listed double the properties, more than 50% higher last year than what we're listing now. This is the real culprit in in why you know people say you know things are slower well it's because there's less to buy if believe me that property that i talked about that we listed at two million if there was four more in the neighborhood for sale they all would be selling they're just not there there's not enough inventory to choose from this is the real culprit that's keeping prices where they are and keeping the market competitive Months of inventory is sitting at 1.4. So we know sales has come down, but because there's also not enough listings, supply and demand, that's what months of inventory really tells us. It's the relationship between the two. We're sitting at 1.4 months of inventory. Days on market for, for last week is sitting at 20. You know, when you're this low, w where do you expect prices to go? They're gonna stay the same or they're gonna go higher? Well, let's take a, a little bit closer look at the three different areas of Toronto. So we got West Toronto, 54% sold at list price or more. Months of inventory sitting at 1.4 and West Toronto on average is 18% higher average sold price than what it was last year. Then we have Central. Look at the months of inventory here. It's a whole different ball game. 32 are the, the amount of average days on market for central Toronto and 38% are selling at list price or more. It's a different atmosphere altogether and the average sold price is 10% lower than what it was last year. And going to the east, so we had west, it's pretty, it's, there's some action going on and, and it's a tight market. 
Central, a little bit more loose, longer days on market. East goes back the other way. It's, it's the most competitive. So 69% are selling at list price or more. Days on market is less than two weeks, 13 days on market. And average sole price is 8% higher than what it was last year. Average sole price is going up only 0.7 months of inventory. It's very competitive on the east side of Toronto. Let's take a look at semis as a quick summary. Average sole price for semis has been going up now for a few weeks in a row. Days on market is 15. 76% are selling at list price or more. 9% higher than last year's average sole price. And months of inventory is sitting at 0.7. If you're buying a semi, you have some challenges ahead of you. Very competitive. Townhouses. Days on market is 15. 63% are selling at list price or more. 4% higher than last year's average sold price and months of inventory is sitting at 0.8. Very low. Also, you're buying a good townhouse, you have some challenges ahead of you. Whatever you're buying, you have some challenges ahead of you. Detached, whatever it is. Let me tell you about our newest listing. It's located in the popular area of Jefferson in Richmond Hill. Now this is a builder's custom home. So many great features. It's the only home with three car garage in the whole neighborhood. Come and let me show you some more amazing features. Now, just in case there's ever any power failure in the neighborhood, you have a backup generator. It's Generac, popular brand, powers the whole home. You have a massive walk-up basement here for entertaining. In the backyard, it backs onto a forest. Now, this is a pie-shaped lot. The back spans to 119 feet. Now, keep in mind, this is a builder's home, so it's been customized in so many ways. It's one of a kind. You'll love the layout. We have this office over here with French doors, private office space. You have a massive, beautiful kitchen. You could fit a big table in this area here. You have a corner sink, big island, and a chef's desk area. The kitchen is open concept to the family room. Now this family room is a two-story family room with tall, tall, massive windows. And you have this customized library up top there that is the only one in the whole neighborhood. The second floor has three bathrooms, four bedrooms. Let me show you the principal room. The master ensuite was done only two years ago. It's a six piece spa bathroom. The basement is finished, tall ceilings, three piece bathroom. There's a roughed in kitchen area, gas fireplace, and this amazing walk up to the backyard. You'll love this 3,500 square foot customized builder's home. Call for details. So taking a close look now at the condo market, we're gonna break this down. The condo atmosphere, the condo market is behaving very different than, I mean, it always behaves different than what it was the detached market, but if in the detached we're talking about things are a little bit calmer, not enough listings, the condo market is slightly different. Look at sales. We sold 364. That's one of the higher weeks that we've had for like almost two months. So sales are pretty good in the condo space. 26 of those sold at a million dollars or more. And average sold price is sitting at $707,000 and just over 700 is kind of where it's been for the last few weeks now. So price is pretty steady there. Compared to last year, we are 2% higher than last year's average sold price. And remember last year, everybody was talking about how terrible and prices are depressed and condo, get out of the condo, wasn't so bad. 
things really didn't go the way people were saying or it, it just it wasn't that bad and condos made strong recovery we of the 364 that were sold 43 percent sold at list price or more last year was 40 percent so kind of the same competitive level as it was this time last year here's here's the story here's what's helping to keep condo prices up last year we listed at this time over a thousand condos this week this year it was only 612 big big difference and you can see the blue is much higher that's last year's listings lack of inventory when we look at months of inventory months of inventory sitting at 1.3 if you're looking for condo prices to come down, don't look at the price. That's a byproduct of months of inventory. Months of inventory is low. And as a summary, if you're looking for, you know, where can we maybe see uh, uh, a little bit more, more negotiation on price, I would be looking here at central Toronto. However, a lot of that has to do with the luxury market. But when you look at the other markets here and the other areas and the other home types, Months of inventory are extremely low. This is going to keep prices up. Again, comment below as to where or what you feel is in store for the fall market. It's just two weeks away. We got very low inventory. There's a lot going on out there. Taken from someone who doesn't just study the numbers, but is also in the field every day with buyers and sellers. My name is Santos Sessa with 3Max Premier. Have a great day.